about to leave Already packing, come with me I'm not really asking, we'll get away To a place where we don't know and welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys have had an awesome week so far. Today's video, we're gonna be giving a behind the scenes look at when we prepare and do one of our big events that we host monthly for investors. We call it the Investors Performance Group. Now this is a meetup that we run for investors, bringing out guest speakers, different industry experts to help investors gain more knowledge and show that there's lots of opportunity out there in the market they're investing in and how to properly invest in those markets. So this is something that you can do, whether it's for investors or first time buyers, but throwing a seminar or a meetup or something like that helps add that level of expert in your community. So it's something I'd highly suggest you consider starting to do in your community to help brand yourself. Now, before we get started though, don't forget, go down, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any more videos. And let's come along for the journey. First things first, if you're hosting an event, gotta get your presentation done. So working on that right now finalizing it, getting it ready to go. I've got all my other speakers that have sent me their presentations, so they're good. So that's step one. Make sure you actually have the content ready to go. All right, so another key thing is make sure you have handouts. Have something for them to walk away with. In this case, Rima behind me is getting all of our handouts ready to go so we have something to give them. They can review it and follow along during the presentation. All right, we just finished getting the room set up here. So we have to have enough seats for everyone that's gonna be coming. We've got a long list of people, but of course not everyone does always show up. So hopefully we got enough there. We decided to get rid of tables. Normally we have tables. But this time we got rid of them because we've had a lot of people uh, doing RSVP saying they're going to be coming this week. So, lots of room. So the other thing we like to offer too at our events, and this is up to you if you guys decide you want to do this because it is a cost, but we do offer a full little buffet here for people, especially when you're running these at night, people are coming from work, it's a good idea. Offer a little bit for people to have some food, and it creates more of an open atmosphere. It's a little more relaxed as you're networking versus just coming for a seminar. started here pretty soon as you can see in the background the room is just pumping we've got a very busy crowd so that's what you want to kind of establish in a networking event like this you want to have people talking people meeting it's it creates an atmosphere if people come in and just sit down and wait for the presentation to start it's gonna start off on a lower tone so that's why we offer food that's why we offer people some drinks and just kind of get people in that frame of mind of meeting new people and getting the deals going so hope you learned something on that one get started here now so this is one of the biggest crowds we've ever had are you guys excited yeah! all right here we go let's get started we've spent countless hours re uh, researching and reviewing over 200 properties both in person and online well the biggest benefit I would say is the timeline so let's see how it fix and flip property this is what we do and then uh, Tales from the Trenches is a segment that we started last year talking about the stuff that we've gone through or some, sometimes uh, people in the crowd here on uh, a scenario that maybe helps you guys learn from our mistakes so you don't have them happen to you. So Kelly's been up here quite a bit yeah. because at the end of the day you know you're making a lot of you know growth and you're making a lot of mistakes so Kelly's definitely being in charge of that. I no longer live in the house and everything was fine until a neighbor complained about my tenant. And that's when the house is cards about. Put on, you know, some fancy clothes to come out and network. And I don't take that lightly, and I'm going to play full out for the next four hours. No. <laughs> relationship with your money partners will strengthen if you share the bad news with them too. Okay? The corollary to only being a good joint venture partner and only sharing the fair weatherness story is that I funded shortfalls anytime a shortfall would come because remember I was a fair weather partner and I didn't why I'm so insecure about telling something was failing that I would fund it myself. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. All right. Russell, thank you so much. All right, so 
For anyone who's been watching the YouTube channel, Russell was actually just on the episode that we premiered today over on the YouTube channel. Uh, actually at Leduc. We were at a business <laughs> fair, right? So, Russell, thanks again for coming out. I appreciate it. Two days uh, in a row that I've seen you. <laughs> one on, on YouTube, and again, we'll do this one on Thursday. How did you guys think uh, Russell did? <laughs> All right, uh, before I let Russell go, I just want to tell a quick story to Russell that I haven't told him yet, mm -hmm. but seeing this book, do you mind if I borrow this? Yeah, please. Seeing this book just triggered this memory here. So I read this book back in 2008, and this is long before I knew Russell. To me, Russell was this author here, and I saw him online, and it was like, oh my God, I gotta meet this guy one day, right? But this book in 2008, with this, the tactics in this book is what I used to do my very first joint venture on a rent-to-own <coughs> deal in Legal, Alberta, north of St. Albert there. Uh, so, you know, he's in the Edmonton area. I'm sure it's a very small community up there. But uh, that was one of my very first joint ventures. My investment partners are still extremely happy. Uh, you know, we've, we've long since sold that. It was rent-to-own. The tenants bought the property, cashed out on it, and we're still great friends. So I highly recommend, guys, pick up a copy of this book. The tactics, I think, are still relevant in this book, <laughs> definitely. I mean, there's some updates, obviously, as time changes, but at the end of the day, the concepts are all still there. I'm actually in the process of updating all my, all my materials right Perfect. there. Well, but, this was part of it tonight, too. But uh, I just wanted to see the book, like I said, triggered that. So I just want to say, again, thank you for this, because this led to me to my first joint venture. So, ladies and gentlemen, Russell Westcott. All right, that is it for us tonight. I hope you guys all enjoyed tonight. What do you think? If you found this video useful, don't forget, hit that like button. Don't forget, throw some comments below. And if you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next week.